We're celebrating 2011 the Brazilian way. Ben Guggins and Elias Martins of Rio's Brazilian Cafe are with us this morning. We're making something very traditional. Um, Elias was telling me this is something that he grew up eating. We're making cheese bread. I've never tried it, but thank you, gentlemen, for being with us, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I know we're going to get started right now, so how do we make the cheese bread? And do you eat it? During the New Year's, or is this something you eat all the time? You eat all the time. Okay, it's like a snack. Yes, yeah, the whole year. Okay. So it's is it sort of like pizza to us, like cheese bread? No, it's like gluten free. Oh, so people gotcha. speak gluten free, you can eat whatever. So you okay. can put my cheese, you can put some salsa, oh, you can do whatever you like it. Well, go ahead so and start. How do we make it? I go put four <clears throat> cups the uh, tapioca start. Okay. I so after that, I go put one cup the oil, corn oil. Okay. One cup the water. It's your cup of the milk. Gotcha. So you go bring to boil you that. After okay. that's hot, a little salt. So you go. So bring that to a boil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When this boil, so you go mix and a tapioca starch. And this is yucca flour. Is yeah, that that's right? a yucca flour. It is. Yeah, we uh, you can find it at any Asian supermarket. Okay. Also, there's a local Brazilian store called Ana Brazil. They sell this flour as well. Is this what you use typically at the restaurant? It yucca is. flour? Exactly. We use a, a lot of the yucca root. We make french fries from it. We make savory pastries. We turn it into a dough. Interesting. Um, Am Elias, I saying it wrong? You say yucca, but I say yucca. Is that... Yeah. I don't think it's wrong. We've just been saying yucca because okay. it doesn't sound like the the cactus plant. Yucca is actually a big shrubby bush. Ah. So it's often confused that it's, it's the cactus, but it's not. Gotcha. Okay. So that's well, kind of how we distinguish it from, yeah. from that. And this, uh, it's uh, also known as tapioca starch, cassava starch, manioc starch, okay. uh, pulvilio in Portuguese. Okay. And um, because there's no flour or wheat, it's a gluten-free product. Gotcha. So okay. ours are all natural, sugar-free, and gluten-free. And, uh, you know, obviously with a little bit of heat into that, it would stir up a little yeah, bit it's quicker, yeah, it's and be quicker. So and whatnot. But it's something that you can make at home very easily. Yeah, still though. Looks uh, like you need some muscles like Elias <laughs> here. Look at that. Okay, so Sorry. when we finally get that together, this is what it's going to look like, right? Yes, it's going to look like that. Okay. I opt to that. You go take a little in an ice cream spoon. So you can do whatever size do you like it. So that's. But you like it smaller size, right? Yeah, because okay. it's, it's easy. You can eat five or three, four, gotcha. six. <laughs> you yeah. can eat more when they're yeah. smaller. Yeah. So, I like that idea. Yeah, you put it in here. Okay. I have to do that. So now we're gonna bake these. You go bake. How? Uh, what's the temperature on the oven there? 400 degrees. 400. About okay. 18 to 22 minutes. One suggestion would be to chill the dough. So as he's doing it here, well, this could be chilled for a little bit, and it makes it easier to turn into the rolls. Right. And once it's chilled, you can even do like we do, and then hand roll it a little bit more to make it a more round. When roll. does the cheese come in? Of the eggs. Sorry, it was you in the yeah. <laughs> okay, it was in sorry. here. It was in here. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. It was kind so of so you can dust it then whenever they come exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. how long do you bake them for? 18 to 22 minutes. Okay. And how do you know they're done? Just when they You know done? they're done when they're golden brown on the outside and please you're welcome to try one. These are fresh out of the oven from oh, the cafe. So which one do you cuz you make different flavors. Yeah. So this is the yeah, traditional. One is basil, yeah. And okay. this is a basil version and a roasted red pepper version. Alas, which one should I try? I think it's better you try the traditional one. Cuz people like more Okay. Uh -huh. You eat more in Brazil, oh. the traditional. So it has a spongy texture because mm, it isn't it flour, it's the yucca starch. Mm -hmm. um, but well, you can gluten free, so you can eat pieces of gluten free. Thank you. Thank you. What do you usually serve with this? So in, at the cafe, we do a trio of cheese breads as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. So we come out with one of the oh, roasted pepper, one of the traditional, one of the basil. Gotcha. Um, in Brazil, it's a real common thing to have for breakfast, in the really? afternoon with friends, over coffee. Okay. Um, and we also sell our rolls frozen um, at Whole Foods, at Fifth and Lamar. We're in about nine other local retailers where you can buy our breads. Very cool. Pre you just pop them in the oven. That's it. You just and pop you don't them in the oven. He's a liar. He's at home. He's He's all put all the muscle. Into it for All you. right, real quickly, we're going to make this Great. traditional make uh, cocktail here. It's called caipirinha. You start with a whole lime, rinse it off, cut it up into four pieces. Okay. Um, at our place, we have a beer and wine license, but we don't have liquor license. But you gotcha. are welcome to bring your own bottle of cachaça, which you can get at Specs or um, Twin, anywhere around town. Okay. We'll do the muscle on this for you, too. You bring your own. And um, it's just a whole lime, a couple tablespoons of sugar. Gotcha. Kind of, it's, it's a good amount of sugar. Um, then we'll muddle it up. And here comes the muscle. Now, is this something that you guys make for New Year's Eve? But again, this is something that you have year round. <laughs> no, so you you drink all the time. Oh, so all the time. you can make the kiwi. The kiwi is really good. You can do a uh, strawberry. Yeah, you, you can, can switch do, out the fruit and make any uh, kind of what you'd like. Watermelon. Oh. So the oh, traditional yeah. one and the lime. This is it's the most the traditional. Yeah. yeah. 
And Does it kind of taste like a margarita? I think it tastes more um, mojito. It's kind of a mojito. mix with a mojito, maybe. Mojito. Gotcha. So anyway, okay, we, we got to wrap it up, nice, cool, uh, shake it up. Shake it up. Put and a there's straw your drink. in it, and it's fantastic. And serve it with some cheese bread. That's right. Gentlemen, thanks so much. Thank the you. restaurant, by the way, is on North Pleasant Valley Road between 4th and 5th Street. And you go uh, celebrate with that. Are you open tonight? We yes. are. We're oh. having a great party, and we're going until midnight at okay. least. So Very please good. join us. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate it, and we'll be right back.